we're reaching the final pitch from the web development bootcamp. It is a very important one, in my opinion. The, yeah, the current situation in Eastern Europe has been a bit difficult. And what is very interesting about the people who come here, the people that come here have already been engaged with something, right? A lot of them have already been working. Some of them have been helping out some institutions. And one of the teams at Le Wagon here uh, thought about thought a bit more about how to uh, support people who might be struggling at the moment, people in a very dire situation. Uh, I don't want to dive too much into it. Please stay curious. Please welcome Finn. Please welcome Vincent with Ost. So yeah, hi guys. Uh, as Dion already said, this uh, project is very dear to me and very dear to the rest of our team. Um, we're building a shipment tracking app um, using QR codes to track the location of shipments of humanitarian aid trucks that go into Ukraine. Um, and the reason we, we wanted to solve this problem was because I volunteer for a NGO, for a nonprofit organization that sends humanitarian aid to crisis regions all over the world, including Ukraine, because of the situation is quite dire at the moment. And a problem I noticed while organizing these shipments, while helping um, organize these shipments was that it is very difficult to track the location of trucks, to track the location of the shipments you're sending. And this is very relevant because of two reasons. First is, um, as an NGO, you're responsible for the shipments, uh, for the donations you get. You have to be transparent with your donors and being able to say, hey, I received your donation. Your donation is two days from that city. It's um, being received in Kiev tomorrow is very uh, important for increasing trust and uh, receiving more donations from your donors. Uh, the second thing is that um, it's also very helpful to track the location of your truck for the shipment itself, so for organizing uh, uh, the shipment you are doing. And this is because you can imagine having all the information about your location uh, of the truck, the pallets uh, the truck has loaded, the content of the truck scattered across uh, email threads, uh, Slack channels, WhatsApp groups, um, is very error prone. So a way better approach is to have all information consolidated into one place, have it unified in one area. And um, this is what we, what we built. Uh, the, the way it works is you go into our application, you print out a QR code, and you put that QR code on a shipment. And then a person along the route of that shipment can scan the QR code and can update the location of that shipment. So one person can, for example, say, I'm in Munich. I'm uh, scanning the QR code, the shipment arrived today in Munich, and then I can see on the map um, this shipment just arrived in Munich. So uh, let's check it out. Um, let's go to the shipments we've done already. Um, these, are, uh, um, these are shipments you see on the, on the right side. You see, you see the map, you see uh, the location of every shipment, which is, uh, which is the last current location, the last location at which this, uh, the, the QR code was scanned at. Um, and you see also, according to the colors, the status of that shipment. You see whether it's uh, currently in transit, whether there's some problem that's occurring with the, uh, with the shipment, or whether it's been delivered already, or whether it's in preparation. You also see on the left side, you see uh, for each shipment, who's the responsible person for this, who's the person in your NGO who you can contact with questions regarding that shipment. You see uh, who the donor is, and you also see what the content of that shipment is, how many pallet, pallets uh, it has loaded. And uh, you can uh, filter by criteria. So for example, I might want to look at the shipments currently in preparation in order to know um, these uh, are the shipments I need to clarify some things with the donors for, or I might need to look at the shipments that are currently uh, in transit. For example, in order to know which shipments I still need to do customs documents for, some border processes, stuff like that. Or I might need a confidence boost and need to look at the shipments I've delivered already. <laughs> I can look at this as well. Um, so uh, you can't only look at the, the shipments in total. You can also have more information, more and more clarity about each ship, each individual shipment as well. So maybe let's look at shipment uh, 32. We have it on the screen already. Um, you see the same map on the right side. This time it's not uh, different trucks uh, on the map and their location. This time it's the route the truck has taken. Uh, if I'm not incorrect, it started in Bern in Schweiz going to Kharkiv in Ukraine, and you see the points in between where the truck was scanned. You also see the pallets the truck has loaded. You see that it has some rice, some flour, and some sunflower oil, if I remember. Yes, 
and you see the, 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 um, the places these pallets are currently in, which is the place the truck is in. Um, knowing this, let's create a new shipment. Let's uh, simulate a uh, shipment uh, together. So we'll uh, go to the, to the new shipment page. We'll uh, select today as a start date and uh, next week as an end date. Vincent is organizing the shipment, so he's responsible for it. And uh, the shipment is starting in uh, Bern. It's going to Kiev. And we have created a shipment. As you can see, there's no scans on the shipment yet because nobody has scanned our QR code. The shipment has just started. It's in preparation. So let's change that. Um, if you want, you may get your phones out now. Just scan the QR code. This is uh, similar to saying this truck is making a stop in Munich because most of the people will probably be in Munich. And then we can see the location you put in on the, on the shipment, uh, on, the, on the map page. So if we refresh the page, as, so the route is a little bit peculiar because we've, we've a person scanning from uh, Milan, Italy. So the route, truck has taken a route which is quite uncommon normally, but this is okay. Um, as you can imagine, this is very helpful when, when organizing the, the shipments, having all the information in one place. Um, so yeah, in, in sum, uh, this project is very dear to us. Um, we are hoping this, we are hoping and we're aiming for, for this project to help people who donate to Ukraine, who, who do real, the real work of, of uh, supporting people in need. And I just want to use this chance to say thanks to my teammates. Thanks to Vincent, Maria and Sophie for putting in the hard work you've done. Thanks for the TAs and uh, thanks to you, the audience, for your attention.